Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. So we're looking inside here, inside the wheel well area for the alternator alternator replacement on a 2006 Ford Focus. This is specifically a ZX5 four-cylinder 2.0 liter. Let me get the lug nuts off. Just to give myself some space, you may or may not need to. These are 19 millimeter for them. Take it off. Here's the belt and the tensioner, there's a shield in here too. Two 10 millimeter bolts, take the shield off. Right down there, the bigger one. Tensioner right there, it's a 15 millimeter. You can see it says lift. So go ahead and lift up and that'll loosen up the tension on the belt. Let's go up that way to loosen the belt. Get that off because the alternator's up there. You can see I'm already working on it. A 13 millimeter bolt in here, 15 millimeter nut on here. There's two 15 millimeter nuts for a shield right here. You got to get off. So, two 15 millimeter nuts on two studs, and this comes off. A little bit of fight from the top and bottom, but I got it off from the bottom. And there's this piece here also needs to come off if you still have it on your car. There's two little things that stick in here and you got to squeeze those tanks together. Tough to get to and then pull it off. It looks like maybe that other tang's been broken. I mean, it's, it's plastic. It's out down here next to the heat shield. And so, but that's how you get that off. 10 millimeter nut right here for the alternator connector. And then we just have a stud here and a 15 millimeter and a 15 millimeter up above another nut. And then the alternator will be free. There's the connector, but you might have a little better shot at it once the alternator is free and you can turn it a little bit in your hands. So next I'll be taking off that 15 millimeter nut there at the bottom and then up on top. From above, there's also a 15 millimeter nut, and I'll get those both loose. Everything is left to loosen, right to tighten. Here's a shot from up above. Here's the nut I'll be taking off. This is where the black shield was up on top with a second nut on here. I had to fight with this wiring harness a little bit to get it out of the way to pull the uh, black shield off. But here we are. And you'll see there's a bracket here as well, so make a note of that. And then we'll be uh, seeing about which way to come out from the top or going down the bottom. I've been using an air ratchet. You can use a ratchet in a 15 millimeter socket. Or we've got some uh, hand tools as well. Those will probably all work. All right, and you may notice now, like I have, that it does not come off the studs. And the information system says, uh, Ford says that if necessary, remove the studs and I do believe it's going to be necessary maybe it has to do with air conditioning this does have air conditioning back here and it seems to be kind of interfering along with the, the lines here the steel small one is the fuel line so it's definitely interfering with that 
So you can use a vise probably and get it on here and turn it enough. Maybe it'll uh, turn by hand once you loosen it up and take it off. So, ugh. wedged down there pretty good now, but I'm going to slide it back myself and take the two studs out. Again, probably using a vice grip will probably work right down on this area right here for you. Or if you have the right uh, pieces, these are E sockets, reverse torques I call them, but they're numbered with E's. So it's a E8 is the one that fits on the stud, so we're going to use that to take the studs out. Alright, so the studs are out, so I'm going to take off that uh, 13 millimeter bolt next so I can get this black cover off because back there is the other connector on the alternator. push on that and it should lift out. So here we are, oil pans here looking at towards the transmission here. Got the passenger side axle. This is the roll restrictor. It says you're supposed to remove this and uh, push or roll the engine forward and I'm assuming the alternator is going to come out through this hole and it does said you probably will need an assistant so I'm going to take off uh, I'm going to take this out 13 millimeter bolt may or may not need to take this out once you take this out you should be able to go the, forward with the engine so one 13 millimeter bolt right here and we're going to have an assistant help pull that and hopefully get the alternator out of this hole so they did not lie, it does roll out. Why don't you give them a demonstration, move the engine forward a little bit, we'll show how it works a little bit. See that, how it moves. So we got enough room and we'll just do that again and put the alternator back in. I got the shield on. I was gonna start to put on the alternator wiring, but I figured uh, since that stuff, it goes on easy, the 10 millimeter nut and wire for the battery positive is easy. And then the plug-in, you just have to snap it into place. You do not have to mess with that stupid little thing you push. So, got this on, 13 millimeter bolts back on tight, and then we can lift it up into place and put our studs in, and we can uh, plug the alternator in a little bit later. So, I put the cover on, and now we're going to hold it in place for the studs in. That's my recommendation. For me, the 13 millimeter bolt screwed in a lot easier than the stud did. I got one or two turns on the stud, but after that I was getting tough, so I thought I'd try and put the 13 in there, and that went in a lot easier. So I can uh, rest my arms a little bit and uh, snap things into place as needed. And then I'll go up top and put the other stud in and start both of them. And if there's any other tips, I will let you know. Here we are. We're putting it together, but I can show you how to take it apart as well. And maybe to get a diagram and draw what you see for uh, how the belt routing is. So I'm just going to uh, pull down on this. And uh, I'm going to put the belt on. You can probably do it the same way. Take it off. Come over here and uh, pull down on that. There you go. Is that all the way, huh? Yeah, that's all the way. Mm-hmm. All right. So you probably want to put it on the water pump, one of the smooth pulleys. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to take it off of this, and we're going to take it off the water pump. I 
All right, try that. Make sure that belt gets back on there. Ugh, I know, it's a really great shot. It's on, we're good. So that's the way to go. I know it's probably a really crappy shot, but uh, got a smooth pulley up there that's kind of in the way of where you're working, so the water pump, I think, is the best bet right there. Take it off and put it on right there. All right, and the belt's on. Let's see how everything works. And that should be most everything for your alternator replacement on your 2006 Ford Focus. Also best practice before we begin the alternator is to disconnect the battery negative. This is it right here for this vehicle and from the factory it looks like a 10 millimeter nut right here. And we're actually putting it back together so we're going to put it on but Just uh, left to loosen and maybe get a screwdriver in here and wedge it around a little bit and loosen it up and uh, pull it off. Maybe get a screwdriver underneath there and lift it off. But uh, we're putting it back together. A couple little gentle taps. Just going to tighten this up. A little wedging action is going to pull it all together. Just like that. Give it a little wiggle good and tight and that would complete your procedure 